Imagine you create 200 shirts as simple products, then you realize that they needed to be variable products in order that the customers be able to select shirt sizes and colors during the checkout process. It can be a real pain in the neck if you have to open and edit product by product and convert them into variable, and that's the way you would do it with WooCommerce. However, we want to show you how to do it faster. We'll show you how to convert hundreds or thousands of simple products into variable with the WooCommerce product spreadsheet. This plugin helps you easily manage your WooCommerce store completely from a spreadsheet. It contains powerful tools such as the bulk edit, which allows you to apply changes to hundreds of products with a few clicks. You'll find the link to download it in the description of this video. In this tutorial we'll see several important things. First, we'll see how to create the global attributes for the variations. Second, we'll see how to convert the products into variable using the spreadsheet and using the bulk edit tool. Third, we'll see how to select the variation attributes. Fourth, we'll see how to create the variations for our products. And finally, we'll see two examples on how to bulk edit the variations we've just created. Namely, we'll see how to set the same price and how to set the same stock for all the variations. First, we'll create the global attributes for the variations. For that, we need to go to WordPress Admin, Products, Attributes. Once here, click on Add New to create a new attribute. For example, we can create an attribute name color. Just enter the attribute title in the slug. Then, open the attribute you just created to add the available colors. We'll add black, white, red and blue as the new colors. For that, we just need to enter the new color title, red, for example, and click on Add New Color or hit Enter on your keyboard. Now let's go back to Attributes and create an attribute called Size. For that, just enter the attribute title in Slug, and click on Add Attribute. Now let's open this new attribute and add three sizes, Large, Medium, and Small. Once you've done that, you can open the product spreadsheet by going to WP Sheet Editor, Edit Products. You'll see all the products as rows and all their fields as columns. The spreadsheet will show one column for every attribute automatically. For example, one column to edit colors, one column to edit sizes, and you can add those colors and sizes quickly. Let's see now how to convert the products into variable. We have two options. First, we can convert individual products by going to the type column and change from simple to variable. Next, let's save the changes. This way we can edit many colors and sizes quickly and save all the changes at once. The second option we have is to bulk convert the products into variable. For that we need to open the bulk edit tool. You can convert all your products or select specific products to convert them into variable. Let's search for all shirts, for that we need to go to the search options. Now enter the shirt keyword and click on search. After that we need to select type, set value, enter variable, and then execute. After that, we'll have converted all the selected products into variable. Now we need to select the variation attributes. For example, let's go to the product color column and select the colors we want to include in the variations. Next, go to the product size column and select the sizes we'll use for the variations. Once done, save the changes. After that, you'll be ready to create the variations for your products. To create the variations, you need to click on Create Variations on the toolbar. 
Now select the Create Variations option and then select the products for which you'll create them. Now you can create variations for every combination of attributes or enter a specific number of variations. Let's create variations for every combination of attributes. Finally, just click on Execute. After that, the variations will appear on the spreadsheet, and you can start editing basic info of your variations such as the price. You can do that by going to the price column and edit them in all the variations. Then, click on save to apply the changes. In the next section, we'll show you how to use the bulk edit tool to edit the prices in stock for all the created variations. First, let's see how to edit the variation prices. Just open the bulk edit tool and go to the search options. Now you need to search for the variations to edit. For example, select all products containing the shirt keyword and tick the search on variations checkbox. Then click on search. Then you need to select regular price, set value, and enter the new price for your variations. If you want to edit the variation stock, just open the bulk edit tool and go to the search options. Now you need to search for the variations you'll edit. For instance, select all products containing the shirt keyword and tick the search on variations checkbox. Then click on search. After that, you need to select stock, set value, and enter the new stock for the selected variations. Done. With this plugin, it's really simple to edit hundreds of variations in seconds. You can download the WooCommerce product spreadsheet following the link in the description of this video. Visit our website to receive live chat support for free. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our videos.